Hi, my name's Phil Tomlinson with Commercial Properties Incorporated in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're going to be talking about Twitter today using tagging and hashtags. To clear up any miscommunication on that, when we talk about a tag, it's usually applied to a person or a channel. This is where I want to acknowledge somebody or a company inside my tweet. When we talk about hashtags, this is where we want to be a part of a larger conversation or topic. If you use the hashtag CRE inside your tweet, you would now be a part of that conversation. So we're going to jump in to uh, Twitter here. And there's two ways you can tweet. To the very top, it says, what's happening? If you click in here, it brings up a box that allows you to start your tweet. At the top right, if you hit tweet, this is also another place you can do that as well. Now, I've been composing a new tweet that we're going to talk about in a second. But first, what I'd like to do is um, let's be let's kind of see what conversations have been going on regarding Corfac. So they type in hashtag C-O-R-F-A-C, Corfac, hit the enter button. This will take us to a feed, so anybody in the world who has added hashtag CoreFact as part of their tweets, uh, it'll show up here, which is nice. So you don't have to go looking all over uh, the web. You can find it in one location. Uh, you'll notice some people are putting in videos. Many are putting in um, pictures, which is highly recommended. Um, as you know, video and pictures uh, tend to lead more people to looking at and clicking on what it is that you're talking about. So if we also wanted to see, maybe let's look at the channel of Corfac International. You'll notice because I typed in hashtag Corfac, one of the options down here is the at symbol, Corfac International, which is the Twitter, the handle, username that uh, they're using. If I click on this, this will show us exactly what their content is they've been putting out. So some of this is their own content. Some of this is uh, they're actually responding to other people's uh, tweets that are out there in the market, uh, which is nice. And so I know that there is a conference that's coming up soon for Corfac International in Austin, Texas. Um, if I would like to jump in and tweet about that, what I could do is come in here to the uh, their website, find out what events they have going on, scroll down. Here it is, Austin, Texas. 2018 Spring Conference. And so I can now cut and paste this link and then go into my tweet, which I've already started, and I can put that link inside here. So you'll notice a few things about this tweet. Number one, I put in a hashtag CRE. So check out the hashtag Commercial Real Estate Conference in Austin, Texas. I have the link where they can go find out more information. I've also included a hashtag Corfac. So that feed we were looking at earlier, it'll be a part of that feed as well. But there are times I may want to uh, maybe mention other people who will be part of this conference. So if I come back down to this uh, website for Corfac here and I go to their speaker highlights, I should be able to find, I'll just scroll through here, a couple people. we got Travis Carson. Okay. Let's take Travis here. Let's see if he's in Twitter. If he is in Twitter, we can actually include him. So we're going to come up through our search feature. Let's put in his name. Hit enter. We found Travis Karsten. Looks like his handle is at Adrian Bray. We can come back to our tweet. And as long as we put in the at symbol first and start typing in the name, he should come up. There he is. I also saw that Jason Wolf was going to be uh, talking as well. So we can see if he's in here. He is. Add him. Want to make sure we give a quick shout out to the Corfac International Group. Let them know that we'll be tweeting about them. So we'll include that. But I'm going to stop for a second. Do you realize you only have 140 characters that you can send a tweet on? And as I start putting in all these tags, it's taking up quite a bit of space. So here's a tip for you. If you do add a photo or a video, at the very bottom, let's add in a picture of Austin, Texas, it says who's in this photo. If I click on this, you'll notice it says search and tag up to 10 people. This photo only takes, I think, about 23 characters. So I can take out these names up here, keep my tweet simple and clean looking, and then inside the picture, start adding in those people. So we could add in Adrian Bray here. We can jump in and put in, let's see, Jason Wolf. There he is. We can throw in Steve Hunker. Make sure that we tag 
underscore fag. All right. So we can put up as many people as you want, up to 10, and then send this tweet out the door. So this is how you tag. This is how you add um, hashtags inside your tweets. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.